You may remember that the USS Cod was recently towed out of its dock facility where it's been since the 1950s. It had a slight collision with the US Coast Guard vessel on the way out. Yeah, and that led to a couple of dents and some scratches on the front of the Cod. But below the water, well, there was even bigger repairs that needed to be made. Jasmine Moreau has the story. A volunteer aboard the USS Cod noticed bubbles coming out of the ballast tank two years ago. That led to an inspection and the discovery of a rust hole that shouldn't be there, making the Cod's next journey to Erie, Pennsylvania, in the Don John Dry Dock shipyard. The people in charge of preserving the Cod wondered what else was below the waterline. As it turned out, entire sections of steel were badly damaged by time. The entire bow of the sub was rotted through. The doors for the forward torpedo tubes needed to completely be rebuilt to original specs. Preserving history is a lot of work. Well, it's a little bit like looking at your child on the operating table. Paul Ferrace is the director of the USS Cod Submarine Memorial. 1.4 million addresses uh, the issues from the water line down. That's $1.4 million funded by a steadily growing endowment, a National Parks grant and other donations that will pay for entire sections of rust and corrosion to be replaced with new steel. And thanks to a donation from Sherwin-Williams, the Cod will get a new paint job. The Cod hasn't been docked on dry land since 1963. This is the only photo. Going into dry dock this time was a lot different. And we thought we have the skills and the capabilities to do it, so we were uh, excited to do the work. This is their first time servicing a World War II submarine here or any U.S. naval vessel. The workers here have a sense of pride. And every one of our workers here feels responsible to help preserve this historic monument. Uh, to be a little part of that history is, is a, a privilege for all of us. The very bottom of the cot was better than expected and has already been sprayed with paint. And by the next time the cot is dry docked in eight to 10 years, they're hoping it won't need this level of work. The investment we're making here in the shipyard uh, uh, hopefully will keep cod a proud uh, element of Cleveland's lakefront for another 100 years. And if there are no issues, the USS Cod is expected to return on August 15th. It will be towed all of the way back to the port in Cleveland. And Cleveland City Council is in discussion to renew the lease for the Cod's deck space here. So let's hope that it will be for many years to come. That's one of those uh, landmarks in Cleveland oh that goodness, yes. field trips, if you're yep. downtown, you know, people will go visit. Yeah. And just to think that it's been in the water that long. Mm -hmm. I can imagine they have the work cut out for them over the next few weeks. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a huge, it is a huge, I feel like, destination, though, yeah. for mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Yeah. And, of course, they couldn't do any of the tours because they're doing the construction yeah. or the reconstruction right now. Mm -hmm. All right.